Hey everyone, it's Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts Studio. And today, um, based on how many people ended up buying denim shirts and buying this DTF pattern, I thought it would be a really good idea to review bling application. Now you can see that I've already put the bling here on the Hummer's little neck and it's nice and secure but I'm about ready to do these blue bonnets. Now, um, I will be using some larger ones later on. Let me just pull a couple of these out so you can see the difference. These are size 16s, and they're gonna go at the base of the larger ones, but there's a 10, and there's a SS16, and you can see how distinctly bigger they are. When you are putting bling on anything, you should always put your smallest bling on first and then your larger, mainly because if you try to put the larger on first and then the small, the larger are too tall and it will not allow the heat to get to the bling and, and actually liquefy the glue. Now, those of you who I have spoken with at shows or in classes, you know my whole big thing is, you know, put out some bling um, at, at just, you know, in a small area first. And let me just do this real quick, just for demo purposes. I'm gonna put some there. Um, this is uh, the DTF, by the way. I have applied it to the shirt. I did end up using acrylic markers. I think there's another video out there someplace about all this. Um, and then I did treat everything with uh, fabric medium. And then last but not least, this shirt has been washed and thrown into the dryer. So everything came out looking the way you see it here. And of course, I'm I'm very, very pleased. This is this technique is becoming more and more secure in my mind, meaning um, it's reliable. I don't have to worry about there being any issues. Um, so so now I'm moving on to the bling um, part of all of this. And to let some of you know who are up in the Dallas area, I will be giving this or doing this as a class sometime in December at the Best Little Retreat Center uh, in Texas. And it will be putting the DTF on a denim shirt, coloring it, and then applying the bling. So stay tuned, be on the lookout for my newsletter. I'll also try to do a quick video so that it's out on YouTube. So for those of you who are in the Dallas area and somehow don't get my newsletter, then you'll be able to hear it through YouTube. All right, now, as I have explained to many of y'all, I like to work in small areas. So this is about a three inch area and it's about the size that will fit nicely. I'm not doing this yet, but this is my little mini iron. This is what I really prefer to use when I'm doing my uh, heat fix for um, rhinestones. But what really is most important is what I'm about ready to lay down right now, and that is parchment paper. Now, you've heard me say that, yes, I also like to use paper towels, and that will work. But what's really nice about parchment paper is, and I know this is hard to see on video, but I can kind of see my bling through there, and so I have a general idea of where to place my iron. So here's what I'm going to do, and I realize this is a bit awkward uh, for seeing this really well, but trust me when I say the bling is covered and I'm going, I'm pulling the cord away, by the way, I've got it taunt so it doesn't end up kind of hitting some of the, the bling and I'm gonna come straight down. And when I do that, I'm going to count to 10 and I'm gonna count out loud for you so you can see how fast I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half, <laughs> ten, and there you go. So let's lift straight up and immediately, oh, immediately I can tell. <laughs> so I gotta show you this, and this is what always happens. Sometimes the bling will flip itself. In fact, two of them did, and they got caught on the parchment paper, but well, that's no big deal. You know, we'll take a look here and see. Now, some of these, um, and I don't really care because this is going to be for my shirt, um, but some of them got a little cattywampus. Now, sometimes you can come in here and with the tip, 
you can kind of reheat the glue and you can kind of, oh, I did it. Okay, yeah, I don't know if you can see this, but I was able to, you can sometimes do that. Um, let me just do this one right here. These two are kind of not quite centered. Let's move that one. Oh, no, 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 no. See, they're already dry. So that's what happens. The minute they dry completely and the glue's no longer warm, you're now stuck with what you've got. So just be careful when you're placing your bling um, and then coming down on top of it with your hot iron. Um, now, do I care? Nah, not really. I mean, who's gonna know it but me? Um, in fact, uh, here's something else you can do. So let's say, you know, this is known as taking uh, a, a potentially a mistake and turning it into creative opportunity. So I'm just gonna put another couple of stones right there and then maybe up here that way nobody's going to know that it was off kilter and really I don't care truly I don't I'm just thrilled to have the bling on it and nobody's going to really notice the difference you know once again and this time I think I'll put the the two ones that stuck to the parchment paper up towards me again. Now this does not hurt the bling that's there. I'm gonna come back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And here's something, um, and I'm holding it a little while longer. I can't show you this, but I'm actually firmly pressing against the parchment paper. So let's just see, you know, some of these. Okay, I moved that one. That's good. Um, the rest of these. And, you know, this is the one thing you'll want to test immediately. I mean, you need to do it as quickly as you see I'm doing it here. But actually, those look pretty good. Now, just because this is for demo sake, I actually am going to pull over a couple of the larger blings. And I want to show you those too. Um, these are great. These are called Sapphire ABs, which means they've got this, it's called Sapphire Aurora Borealis, and it's got this kind of metallic treatment to it. It's very, very pretty. Um, I think they work very, very well with the blue bonnets, kind of gives them an extra special pop. And I'm putting them kind of where some of the larger blue bonnet petals are, not all of them, you know, I don't want to get too carried away, just uh, to give it kind of a bit of an accent. Let's see, I think one would fit there. And let's see here. And I'm, I'm showing you this because a lot of people go, oh, you know, I don't, exo your, your diagram gives me some, some ideas, but I don't know exactly where to put the bling. Well, I'm going to tell you, you kind of need to just eyeball this as you put your bling down as to where you think it would look good. Um, now my, my, paint by number or bling by number, however you want to look at it. I actually will try to tell you rough and dirty how many should go where, but in the long run, I do believe this is something that you should decide. Um, now, I do give you some extras. I don't give you a ton of extras. Um, so do be aware that if you are doing this, you can't go just go willy-nilly with your bling. You do need to kind of put it down in um, a reasonable area and then see what you have left over and then use it all up. And then of course, if you look for more, if you want more, you can certainly contact me and I have plenty more available for sale. In fact, I just put a big bling out order in this afternoon and hopefully I'll have a lot of it available at the Colleen Show, which will be next week in Colleen, Texas at the Colleen Convention Center. Um, I think that's August 23rd, 24th, or 24th and 25th. I am so sorry. I don't have that information at my fingertips, um, but I will try to, before I go to that show, I will post the information out before, um, before I'm there. All right, once again, now this is a size 16. Now the first ones were size 10s, hence why I counted to 10. This time, Again, I'm going to come down on top of my rhinestones. This time, I'm going to count to 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, let's see if the big ones had any issues sticking. So you can kind of see they're definitely, oh no, these are good. These are very good. Woohoo. All righty, that's it. Now, I cannot stress, and I will continue to do this as long as I'm teaching with these DTFs. I cannot begin to stress how important it is to use a press cloth even once these are down. And I'll tell you why. Earlier, and it was on this one, and let me see if I can scooch this up. Mm, probably can't. Let me see if this is in the picture here. Uh, let me make sure I don't spill this bling. That's another favorite trick of mine, is spilling bling all over the place. All right. Um, right down here, it's at the very bottom of the screen. I apologize. I'm kind of got my tables full, and I don't want to mess too much stuff up because I've got my bling scattered. So I was in a hurry. This is usually when I screw things up. Maybe it happens to you too. So please learn from my mistakes so that you don't repeat them. But I had this, I had just taken it out of the dryer. I was kind of ironing it, which normally I iron my shirts from the inside. So I would reverse this and iron it from the wrong side. But I got into a hurry like I usually do. And I started to go like this with the iron. Well, what happened was, now not this iron, this has got a nice Teflon edge, but my other iron has a very sharp edge right here. It ended up catching the DTF right here a little bit and started to pull it up. Now it's very unnoticeable. I mean, it, it's, you'd have to come in and look hard, but I want to stress that depending on your iron, you can, when it's really super hot, actually cause some of the edges to lift off if they're not completely secure. Now this is going to happen. Um, and the best thing I can tell you is number one, iron from the wrong side out. Number two, if you do have to iron from the top of the surface, please, oh please, oh please, do not do it directly on the DTF. Make sure that you do it uh, with a press cloth. All right, that's it. Hopefully you got something from this. If you have any further questions, leave them below in the comments. And thanks for watching.